The focus of Drop Zone was all about the facial animation. The client came to us with the three characters that we would be animating. We chose to focus on the three word descriptions that they gave and then enlarge that with our own creative input. Yeah, professional, that was one of the main words that we picked out of uh, Vice's profile, that he was a professional. So he's someone who's quite level-headed, calm, but self-confident at the same time. It also means that his movements were made very precise. The technical side to our job is the rigging. We started doing tests with a previous in-house rig, doing some talking with it, dialogue pieces. And it's good and it worked, but we knew that we needed to push it even further. And I think we ended up probably doubling the amount of morph targets. So the, the, the voice actors, they would do all the voice recording, but we, we were also provided with video footage of those actors and we'd use that as a base for our block out initial stages. And it is really good to have that as a starting point. But as we sort of move forward, we found that, especially with Fury, we need to make sure that we, we kept that appeal, that sort of soft appeal. The video reference, it, it was quite scrunched she was quite angry a lot of the time and when we put that onto the rig it came across sort of quite aggressive and we lost that appeal that's where the sort of artistry comes in and we, we pull that back in places and, and we get it to how we want it to look with turbine the reference was really helpful but it was a little bit reined in so because he's such an exaggerated character you can get away with a lot of wilder jaw yeah. movements and as the face is kind of partially masked by a beard again you need to push it a bit further you kind of you, you kind of take as much as you want from the the video reference and then as an animator especially doing keyframe animation that's when you take over and that's when you put yourself into those characters. 